How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lai Hobby Time. Today I'm going to be making a little diorama of an ATST as seen in the first season of The Mandalorian. This box came with two different model kits. I'm only going to be using the ATST in this project. But if you have any suggestions for how I should use the other one, let me know in the comments. These Bondi models are always very nicely detailed. There were just a few things that I wanted to change, including the addition of some springs on the back of the legs. The other main thing I needed to change about this is that the eyes are permanently shut on this model, so I used a pin vise and an X-Acto knife to cut those out. In order to make the springs that go on the back of the legs, I straightened out some wire and then I used some pliers to flatten it out. I then cut it to shape and bent it slightly and glued it in place. For the shutters that go over the eyes, I used some O2O gauge styrene. With those modifications out of the way, it was time to figure out how to light up the eyes. I drilled a hole behind each of the eyes, large enough to fit one of these tiny little nano LEDs. I'll link those in the description if you're curious about them. Then drilled a second hole for the wiring to be able to go down through the bottom of the head. When I was happy about the LEDs, I glued them in place and began working out a path for the wire to go down through the base. I drilled a few strategic holes down the leg and in the bottom of each foot. And I bent the wires to match the shape of the leg and I'm really happy with how hidden these ended up being when it was all said and done. I then began working on the base for this thing. I bought a glass display dome. It came with a nice cork base, but I wanted to have something a little bit more easy to work with than cork. So I cut out a little disc of styrene. I took apart and repurposed an electric tea light candle in order to provide the electricity for the LEDs. After that, it was a matter of cutting a hole big enough in this cork in order to house everything. Started with a little hole, made it a little bigger with an X-Acto knife and finish the job with my Dremel. After that, it was on to painting. I primed these off camera and I will include all of the paints I used in the description.
Before I got too far along, I cut out two tiny pieces of red cellophane and I glued them behind the eyes. Once that was done, I glued the whole face back in place and I painted on the details. After that, it was time for final assembly. I glued the ATST down to the styrene. I glued the styrene down to the cork. After that, I soldered everything in place and sealed up the housing for the battery. Finished off the diorama with the addition of some trees and grass. And then I used a spray on matte varnish to wrap it up. I am going to be giving this away. All you have to do to enter that is subscribe and leave a comment. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.